Zito Engineering Slovakia and Rheinmetall Protection Systems have agreed on strategic cooperation in the further development of ballistic and anti-mine protection solution as part of the Zeto Gerlash 4x4 ATV tactical armored vehicle project. The Slovak company Zeto Engineering unveiled a prototype of its new 4x4 armored vehicle called Gerlash during the defense exhibition IDEB 2018 that took place in Bratislava, Slovakia. The vehicle was fully developed by the company based on the experience of troops deployed during modern combat operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, using similar wheeled armored vehicles. Patria's armored modular vehicle AMV XP has been chosen to perform a one-year field testing in Japan after competitive bidding. The Japanese Ministry of Defense will buy two vehicles from Patria for the tests. Two other companies have been selected to deliver their vehicles to the tests. The final selection is to be expected after the trials. At DSEI 2013 Defense Exhibition in London, the Finnish company Patria had launched a new vehicle concept, been on experience and verified solutions based on the Patria AMV which has been the unrivaled market leader of modern 8x8 armored vehicle for the last decade with nearly 1,400 units contracted, selected by seven different nations and combat proven in real mission environment. The Patria AMV XP is a newer, improved and more capable version of the Patria AMV, which is currently one of the best armored personnel carriers in the world. XP stands for Extra Payload, Protection and Performance. Rainmetal confirms that its Lynx Gear 41 infantry fighting vehicle has been selected by the Commonwealth of Australia to compete with Hanwha's Defence Redback IFV in the Risk Mitigation Activity Trials for the 15 billion Land 400 Phase 3 programme. Lynx Gear 41 is a next generation tracked, networked and highly protected IFV which beats the stringent military requirements of Land 400 Phase 3. The Australian Army needs a networked, protected and enabled IFV for close combat to close in and defeat and I mean the most dangerous and lethal environments for Australian soldiers. The K41 is an infantry fighting vehicle in the Lynx family of tracked armored vehicles designed, developed and manufactured by Runmetal Defence. The K41 has been designed to offer a new generation of tracked armored vehicles offering modularity and high level of protection. The feature at the heart of the KF-41 Lynx design concept is the separation and modularity of the vehicle into two primary parts, the basic vehicle and specialist mission and role equipment. Specific variants can be built around a common hull and common mobility assemblies and protection components to which role and mission specific equipments can be added on as required basis. At DSEI, leading UK defence companies, BEE Systems, Leonardo UK, Rolls-Royce and MPDA UK, together with key Italian industry players, Leonardo Italy, Electronica Avio Airo and MBDA Italy, announced their intent to partner on the Tempest programme by signing a statement of intent. This will see the parties work together to define an innovative concept and partnership model which will include knowledge sharing, product definition and technology development for the joint development of future combat air systems. Russia began to create new strategic bomber PAGDA, prospective airborne complex of long-range aviation, which is to replace two 95MS and two 22M3 bombers. In 2009, the Tupolev Design Bureau signed a contract with the Defense Ministry for Polanik R&D, which produced the rough design of PAGDA. The new bomber has been designed since 2013. Then Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borisov said PAGDA can make the maiden flying in 2025-2026 and the batch production was scheduled in 2028-2029. He said the bomber has to carry as many weapons as possible, be stealth and use any airfield. The US Air Force's all-new advanced trainer aircraft, the TX, has officially been named the T-7A Red Oak. The name Red Oak honors the legacy of Tuskegee Airmen and pays homage to their signature red-tailed aircraft from World War II. 
The T7A Red Oak, manufactured by Boeing, introduces capabilities that prepare pilots for fifth generation fighters, including high G environment, information and sensor management, high angle of attack flight characteristics, night operations, and transferable air to air and air to ground skills. The second of the UK's new aircraft carriers, MHS Prince of Wales, has sailed for the first time, eight years after it was laid down and two after its sister, MHS Queen Elizabeth, sailed from the very same sites. The 6.5 tons warship left the basin at Rose's Dockyards on the 4th, ready to begin sea trials. The Russian Navy is expected to be the first country to field Zircon hypersonic cruise missiles on its submarines. Zircon can reportedly fly at Mach 8. For comparison, the Tomahawk cruise missiles carried by US Navy and Royal Navy submarines fly at around Mach 0.75. The greater speed will better enable Russia to strike time-critical targets and will increase the missile survival rate against modern air defenses. The Belgorod Special Submarine, which is the first carrier of Poseidon craft, will sail out for trials in June 2020 and has to be handed over to the Navy in September. The special mission submarine Belgorod will be a mother ship to other undersea vessels. The sub can carry a payload on its back, behind the sail, or a Lozeric class mini submarine that attaches and detaches to the bottom of the hull.